like to introduce you to Himmler and Mangala, who are hiding. Come here, you little fuckers. Damn it, Mangala. Alright, Himmler and Mangala. And we're going to show you the human soup scenario. Well, what is that? Well, Himmler, I'm glad you asked. Um, what it is, is uh, when people buy caskets um, for burial, um, one of the selling points is that they seal really tightly so that things like, um, you know, bugs, water, dirt, whatever, um, aren't going to get in there. And the problem with that is that those things are part of the decomposition process. So if you don't have those things, you know, you might have this nice idea that, you know, grandma's not going to have worms going in and out of her eyeballs, but like, uh, what you're going to be left with eventually is human soup, which is just disgusting. Well, why do you care? Well, <laughs> well the reason I care, Hamler, is because uh, I have done rotations in a lot of funeral homes. And um, one of the reasons I decided, I was actually in mortuary school, and one of the reasons I decided not to become a funeral director is because of these things that they have to um, sell these people on, um, you know, because like all, all funeral directors know about this human soup thing, but that's not what people want to hear. You know, they just they just want you know their loved one to be encrypted in there forever and just never rot. But it's gonna happen one way or the other, and uh, it's actually it's a lot better process um, when you have those components to, to aid in the decomposition process. The other thing is it's entirely hypocritical to, to bury someone and then not want dirt and stuff to get in there. I mean, the whole point of burial is giving the body back to the earth. So, you know, go figure. Um, the reason I'm able to do this is because I don't work for a funeral home. I don't have to please anybody. I don't care what anybody thinks. Stop shitting on me. Um, I'm not trying to tell people what they want to hear. I'm trying to tell people the truth. So, um, get... Come here, you. Oh, well, how are we going to do this? Well, that's a really good question. <laughs> but I'm afraid you're not going to like the answer. What we're going to do... Um, these guys are too small for me to embalm, and I don't have the equipment anyway, but, um... What I'm going to do is drain them as well as I can, and then um, I will aspirate their organs and give them a formalin injection. So they'll be somewhat preserved, um, and then one of them is going to go in uh, a jar with some dirt, worms, stuff like that. I'm um, going to just leave it open, and then the other one is going to go in a sealed um, jar, a specimen jar that's they seal pretty well. So um, and then I will take a picture every day, and we'll see what happens. Say goodbye to these guys, because this is the last time you're going to see them alive. <laughs> Alright, tag girl out. Okay, so um, I was compiling my um, decomp soup videos to, um, you know, put this all together, because I'm done now. And uh, my videos of, like, the in-between times are gone! I can't find them anywhere. I'm really pissed. <laughs> um, but basically, I didn't end up taking a picture every day, um, because after I buried them, there really wasn't much to see, um, without, like, physically taking the jars out. And even when you take the jars out, like, it's hard to see into them. So, but, um, basically I left them in there for about, um, a little over two months. And, uh, uh, Mangala was in the, the jar of dirt, and he decomposed really nicely, and, uh, Himmler was in the sealed jar, and, uh, ugh, it was gross. It was stinking up the yard. It was awful. Um, this is, uh, this is the, uh, excavation. Alright, this is a little bit premature. Um, I was hoping to wait longer before doing this, but I'm moving. So I'm um, gonna have to go ahead and do this right now. Um, let me see. So first of all, look at all the stuff that's growing in there. 
Decomp is definitely good for um, plants and stuff. It's a uh, great fertilizer. Don't mind my cigarette butts. So, um, let's see. So this is Himmler. He's the one in the sealed container. And you can see all that liquid stuff. It's really gross. Um, he's basically just a, a pile it's just a pile of of fur and guts and goo right now. It's just disgusting. Um, I really don't want to open it up. I can smell it from here. And if I open it up, it's just, it's going to smell like somebody is seriously rotting back here. And I don't want, like, the cops to show up. So, yeah, it's, it's bad, though. It's gross. It's fucking disgusting. His head actually fell off and it's floating in that goo now. So, this is what happens if you have a really tight ceiling casket. There's no way for that stuff to escape. There's nowhere for it to go. There's nothing to, you know, break it down besides, you know, the regular microbial activity. This is what you're going to end up with. And, gosh, I really wish you guys could see it better. Um, it's just, it's so fucking foul. There we go. That's good. So you see all of that goo? That's just decomp soup. See it? Oh, oh that's disgusting. Alright. So that's Himmler. Now Mangalab was in the jar um, with the dirt and I put some worms and stuff in there. So let's see how he did. There he is. Alright. So, you can see he decomposed pretty nicely. Let me stick or something. Alright, so, this is all that's left of him. And this is mostly skeletal tissue. It doesn't smell at all. I can't, I can't smell it. Ooh, look at his little skull. I might keep that. I'm definitely keeping that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. Check this out, guys. Look at his little skull. Perfect. That's the way the decomp should be. That's beautiful. So, yeah. That's, uh... So that's the human soup thing. Or decomp soup, you know. Just depending on what you're doing so yeah there it is oh, look at that that's awesome oh so so cool okay so there you there you go there you have it um so that's that's what decomp soup is and hopefully maybe it'll discourage a few of you from buying those really tight ceiling caskets if you are going to go the burial route i would suggest you know something um it doesn't necessarily have to be inexpensive. I mean, that's not... If you want to spend a lot of money on something that you're going to put in the ground, and if that makes you feel better, then whatever. You know, but you can buy really nice wooden caskets, um, but I don't recommend the metal ones and the seal, you know, on it. Just... Um, most places require you to get, like, a... Uh, an outer burial container because the graves sink in once the decomp starts if you have that kind of casket so um you can't really avoid that but I would definitely suggest um you know a wooden or I mean you can even have people buried in cardboard um so I hope I've changed some minds out there if I reach like one or two people that's that's all I really want to do um one last thing before I wrap this up Caskets and coffins are not the same thing, and this drives everybody in the industry crazy. So let me just put that out there. A, a coffin is hexagonal, like this. Okay, that's what vampires sleep in. Um, I think they still use those in Europe, but here in America, these caskets, they're rectangular, and uh, they're not coffins. Don't call them coffins. They're not coffins. Okay. So, 
Decom soup. There you go. Dead girl out. You hear?